Finally get the pencil up some Bristol board. Today's the last stop for the penciling department. I started with rough pencils, moved on to refining those pencils, and today we transfer those pencils onto the Bristol board using a light box. For a clean scan, you're going to have to erase the pencils once they're done inking, at least in some spots, like lettering especially. The more delicate you draw today, the smoother your cleanup day is going to go. To our left, we have our finished refined pencils, and to the right, our Bristol board. I'll be using a light box to transfer them over. If you don't have a light box, you can use a window. I do my best to line up the panels to make sure everything's nice and square, but I'll be honest with you, sometimes paper isn't even cut straight, so just do the best you can and try not to stress out too bad about it. It's pretty easy to go into full-on autopilot when you're drawing panels and gutters like this, but I highly recommend you don't do that. Try to keep an active eye and make sure you're not going too dark. Same thing goes for the guidelines on the letters. Try to keep them really light, but definitely do throw them in because even if you're tracing the letters onto the Bristol board using the light box, it's still good to have them as reference and you can just take them out with a kneaded eraser uh, down the road. When it comes down to inking the letters, trust me, you'll be glad you took this extra step. Alright, now this piece of Bristol is really starting to look like a comic. This is the only segment of this video that's actually drawn in real time, just so you can get an idea of the pacing you want to have when you're lettering. It's easy to get lost in all this time-lapse stuff and have an expectation that this thing is kind of flying on by, but the truth of the matter is, um, lettering takes time, you want to go nice and slow, and you want to pace yourself and definitely make sure you maintain a rhythm as you work. I like to work from the top down so that you don't smear, but as long as you're careful, it's not that big a deal. You can kind of hop around, but I do like to start with some of the smaller word groupings to warm up onto the larger ones. And bam, there you go. Lettering's done. Now with all this out the way, we can get on to our pencils. Keep in mind we're working on the actual Bristol board that we will be inking now. So you want to work kind of light, and you only want to throw in the lines that you need. This is kind of the last chance to fix things that are a little crooked or off. So take the time to do so. I try not to saturate the page with too much graphite, because after inking... When it comes time to clean up the page, it just makes it so much worse. So I keep the pencils really light, and I don't black anything out. I just use little X's to signify that something is going to go to full saturation black. And there we have it. Finished pencil page. Now we're ready for inks. One page down, 17 more to go. If you have any questions about my process, feel free to leave a comment below. If you dig these videos, tell a friend, and if you want to support the channel, check out the links uh, below. We've got a gum store road where you can check out our books and follow us on social media. Alright, go make some comics.